thank you for joining us for this is now the fourth video in the uh, fourth video installment of the High Lonesome Music Festival video channel here on YouTube. And my name is Scott Whitty. I am happy to be here tonight here at Dockley Ranch with my good friends, Michael Gimko and Claire Lee. How are y'all doing tonight? Excellent. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Appreciate you taking time out with me. I wanted to, before we get into the interview, just uh, this is going to be kind of a quicker video, but wanted to reiterate that we are definitely, uh, we are on sale now as far as tickets go. You can go to DockleyRanch.com to get tickets, or you can simply Google High Lonesome Music Festival 2024. It'll pull right up for you. Just go to the Eventbrite link and get as many tickets as you desire. So We're six months away. Six months away. Thank you for reminding me. Six yeah. months away. Exactly. So we're really excited about that. And in, in regards to that, we wanted to talk about two things. The location here of Dockley Ranch, where we have this festival, mm -hmm. and what to bring. So without further ado, how do you describe the location of where we're at right now here at Dockley Ranch? Okay. Yeah, we are southeast of Springfield, Missouri, and northeast of Branson, Missouri. So we're in Douglas County. It's a very rural area. Um, and it takes about an hour to drive from Springfield or Branson to our farm. Um, and it's about three and a half hours from St. Louis, three and a half hours from Kansas City, three and a half hours from Tulsa. Three and a so, half hours from Columbia. Three and a half hours from Columbia, yeah. Missouri. Yeah, so it's it's not a bad day trip. Awesome. And in the last half hour of the drive, you're going to some beautiful rural areas with huge giant old pine trees and it's 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 a beautiful drive to get here so by the time you get here you just are in a beautiful area you're totally at peace and you're ready to relax and listen to some music and make some new friends and set up your tent awesome so yeah. I, I appreciate that so um just thinking out loud here once people get here you have camping available for them. We do. You're going to have uh, more vendors this year than previous years, correct? Like yes. More, more vendors. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of options as, that, as far as that goes. But this video's theme is also about what to bring. So you two, what would you say, you know, as far as you're concerned, they should be bringing, you know, what are some great items to bring for the event? Uh, well, if, if you choose to camp, we encourage it. It's it included in your three-day festival pass. Oh, you don't have pass. No, that's pass. Sure. And not in, unless you want a tree line site, which is a little shady, um, and a little bit more private. Yeah. That's a little bit of an extra. And okay. You can drive to the tree line site. Now you cannot drive to the festival field sites. We'll help you get your gear to the area where you want to set up your tent. We have some campground docents that will drive you in a little four-wheeler down with all your gear. Yeah, the camp rangers. You, if you need it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that so I would suggest a, a tent, a rain fly, sleeping bags, pillows, um, water bottles, camp chair, water camp chair. Bring that up to the stage and watch yeah. the music up there under yeah. the tree. Hiking boots. Okay. If you want to hike the trail, which I we encourage everyone to hike the trail. Awesome. The trail is definitely awesome. What's the name of that trail? So we have this trail. It's called Doc's Loop. It takes okay. about thirty minutes to do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. It goes down the hill to our small creek. Where we have a waterfall. It's beautiful down there. Yep, and then uh, loops back up through the oak forest and back to the festival grounds. Okay. And, and so in terms of what to bring, um, a lot of folks ask if they bring a cooler. Can I bring my own soda and beer and food? And the answer is yes. Okay, cool. Um, but we also supplement that with a, a full bar. Um, we do wine and beer and kombucha and soft drinks and things like that. We've got a bunch of food trucks in terms of folks looking for food. We have a coffee shop in the morning that opens up real early. We've got music at the coffee shop. So we've got a whole fully functioning little, you know, city in the forest um, <clears throat> as, as the festival plays out. Cool. And bring your cooler food and drink. All that we do is we've worked with some microbrewers who set up their, you know, selling their wares at the bar is we encourage people to bring their food and drink, leave it at the campsite, and then come and then support our vendors when they come up to the actual event area. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Well, yeah. folks, September 27th to 29th, it's going to be an awesome time. This will be the third uh, rendition yeah. of the High Lonesome Music Festival. And uh, Mike, Claire, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, 
thank you for joining us and we hope to see you in September. Thanks. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Bye. Bye.